Hello, everybody. I hope that all of you are feeling greatly confident today. And let us understand the factors that influence the self-confidence. As you have learned in the previous sessions, there are four factors. And today we are going to study in detail about these social factors, cultural factors, exposure to media and online platforms, and physical factors. So what do you mean by social factors? Man is a social animal and we live in a society where we are surrounded by people who are known to us and who are unknown to us. Who are the people known to us? Our immediate parents, friends, siblings, our relationships, our um, neighbors, our friends, our teachers, our colleagues, all of them, they are part of our upbringing and our society. These people who are there amongst us from morning till night or from the uh, time we go to our place of work, they are all influencing us. They may be directly or indirectly boosting our self-confidence or bringing down our self-confidence. The kind of criticism we get, the kind of upbringing we had from our parents, the kind of opportunities we had, the kind of environment we lived in, all these social factors are going to affect our self-confidence. Either it can take it up or it can bring it down. Culture and community. We may live, be living in a society or in a culture where the self-confidence is oozing and it is motivating us. But there are certain religions or certain environments or certain upbringings in the society or the culture which, in, which may not be so feasible for us to have that necessary self-confidence. The ethnicity, our language, our society, our environment, our religious beliefs and uh, faiths also try to either bring up our self-confidence or try to bring it down. Exposure to media and online social platforms. Every day in the news, we read so many news clips or we read newspapers, we hear to news online uh, channels, net, and um, so many uh, media we are exposed to. And this media also tries to affect us. And online social platforms, if we are subjected to cyber bullying or cyber stalking or some kind of cyber frauds that might also bring down the self-confidence. Or if we are very confidently working in such environments, positive inspirational videos or uh, inspirational quotes or motivational movies um, uh, or uh, the lives of uh, great uh, people who have achieved something in their lives, which is seen through this media, also try to influence our self-confidence. And the last one is physical factors. Always looking good, smart, our clothes, our uh, looks, our, um, what to say, our fairness of skin does not always um, help us to bring uh, the best in us. It may hinder our self-confidence. We should not worry about our physical factors, but instead we should focus on healthy mind and healthy body, the good clothes that we wear, the fashionable clothes should not matter us, proper hygiene, good eating habits, exercising, meditation, and um, listening to motivational talks, all these factors should be influencing our self-confidence. But the physical factors, especially charming personality and uh, fairness or say tall physique or beautiful smile, all those things will not be the factors which should influence us. But the inner soul which is there in us, the inner beauty that we have, that should be appreciated and that should bring the self-confidence in us. So these are the factors that influence. So we should know these factors. Then only students will be able to uh, see, okay, this may be the reason. That's why I do not have self-confidence. Let me come out of that and bring up my self-confidence. We should know about this. That's why we have learned. And in the next session, we are going to learn how to boost up our self-confidence. Till then, be confident, happy, and take care of all of you. Bye-bye.